Okay, today we're going to look at the Premium Guard Extended Life Oil Filter, number PG241EX. And you can get this at Parts Geek for $4.20. So let's get started. It looks like it's have a you got a good, uh, good nice and tight. Get your hammer here. Filtration of 99 here. Okay, let's start with the box. 10,000 miles engine protection. So it's rated for 10,000 miles. Traps up to 99% contaminants. And that's at 25 microns. Silicone anti-drain back valve. We have a picture of it here. Looks like it has a coil spring. Alright, let's open up the box here and see what she looks like. Date code. 20MRS048748. This is a sticker. And it's a little bit of a texture to it. And they got it plastic wrapped, which is nice. Ooh, that looks like a silicone O-ring gasket. Look at the colors there, wow. Eight inlet holes. And I see a metal core with louver. Nah, metal core with holes. Yeah. A nice amount of threads, too. How's this O-ring on here? Ooh, this is on here nice. It's pretty thick, too. Oh, that's on there nice. It's pretty nice. Oh. And you know what? I say we open her up and see what she looks like inside. Okay, let's get her weight. 9.8 ounces. And how about the base plate? 4.4 ounces. Yeah, this is a nice base plate. It's got a lot of grooves. It's quite a few there. Probably at least like five. Yeah, that's pretty good. And this this looks like a silicone O-ring, which is nice. Considering this, this is only a four dollar and twenty cent filter, so this is pretty good. This is all really nice. And your silicone any drain back valve. Silicone. And it's a shiny silicone. One I don't think I ever seen this kind before. Usually they're dull. But it's definitely springy. Yeah, it's nice. And filter media. It counted kind of fifty five pleats and they're evenly spaced. They're really clean. Very clean filter. The bypass valve right there, which got a setting of 14 to 17 PSI. The small one. And you get your metal crimp seam. It's a synthetic blend media. And like I said in the box, 99% uh, at 25 microns. And let's get the, you know what? Let's get the can. Got a coil spring, which is nice. Keep everything tight. And the can's pretty thick too. I was getting 0. 0.5. Yeah. It's pretty good. That's that's nice and thick. It feels it feels thick too. You know, because it doesn't bend too easy. Nice. This is a nice filter, actually. You know, for this price, I really like this filter. Let's get the um get the measurements on this. No, put it back to inches there. Two point oh five, two 
2.49 it's fairly light 2.5 ounces oh and one thing I didn't want to point it out uh, you can see the over there I want to point it out this filter is made in I couldn't find where it was made in but it says it right here on a box it says right here made in Vietnam one finger right there, right there. It's hard to see it. It's focusing. Okay. Yeah, so let's cut this baby open and see how long she is. Okay, here she is all stretched out. And she's 55 and a half inches long. Okay, and here's your metal crimp seam, which is nice, nice filter media. Let's check out the rest of the filter. And by the way, this is like 99% at 25 microns. That's pretty good. That's not a bad micron rating. For a $4.20 $4 filter, it's pretty good. Let's check out the rest of the filter. It's got some good points. It's got the coil spring. Which is nice. It's got holes. These are pretty big holes. You gotta get a lot of oil flow through this. A little bypass valve here. You can see the spring right there. Let's see if I got my I can't find my screwdriver. I'll go use a pen. Yeah, that works nice. Silicone any drain back valve. This is nice. And a nice base plate too. Um This is this O ring's on here nice. And it looks to be silicone. Nice. Nice can. You know, they get you on the shipping at Parks Geek, so you gotta buy a bunch of these to offset the shipping costs. But otherwise, this is a real good filter. I really like this filter. I give it one of these. I give it a thumbs up. Looks like a well-made filter. So I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.